everybody, I'm back again. Um, this is our third episode. It is August 31st. And I am in Managua, Nicaragua. Um, so let me give you guys a little bit of a head, uh, update on what's been going on. Uh, last night, I, well, yesterday, I flew from Austin to Washington, D.C. As I told you guys in the last couple episodes that that was really going to be where the staging event was going to be. Um, got up bright and early for that. Uh, probably slept probably three hours before then. I was so nervous. And flew into D.C. Met all the other Peace Corps volunteers. As it turns out, there are four volunteers from Texas, all of which are from Austin, including me. So, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, we have the largest contingency of any one city, and I believe we also have the largest group group from any one state. So we're pretty badass. And let's see. So met with some of the uh, the staging coordinators. Um, we actually got a special treat. The uh, chief of staff of the Peace Corps actually came just to come to our staging event to just see us off and tell us what it's going to be like. And uh, I think the the State, uh, the chief of staff, he went to Bolivia uh, back in the 90s, I believe. Maybe even a little earlier, I'm not quite sure. But, that was pretty cool listening to him talk and uh, talking about the, what happened in the Peace Corps past, what they're doing now, especially with the uh, budget cuts and things like that. And uh, what they intend to do in the future. So, pretty awesome. Uh, then they dismissed us, and since it was about 10 o'clock at night at that point, and we had to be up and moving. We had to be up and in the lobby checking out at by tw by 2.30 a.m. Uh, me and several of the other guys just decided we're not going to sleep. It's pointless, and we don't want to risk sleeping through an alarm. So we just went to the bars and drank and uh, stayed awake and uh, had a really freaking good time right there on the Potomac. And I'm kicking myself for the fact that I didn't bring along my uh, my camera for that one. So I'm gonna have to probably bring in some of the guys to verify uh, the party the party craziness. It actually wasn't even that crazy. We just kind of went to a bunch of really fun uh, little pubs and uh, drank some great ale and had some good whiskey shots and some good uh, tequila shots. We had to have tequila. Um, turns out that there was also a, a second country, not just Nicaragua, at the staging event. There was also Mexico. Uh, they've been really trying to get more volunteers to get to get into Mexico to uh, to do a lot of uh, environmental specialist uh, a lot of, a lot of special environmental projects. I'm not quite sure exactly what all that entails, and most of the volunteers don't seem to know either. But that's kind of what we signed on for when we become Peace Corps trainees. I was just reminded of that today that we are not volunteers; we are trainees for the first 11 weeks. So it'll be a little while before I'm actually a Peace Corps volunteer, but I have no doubt that uh, I shall be. So, after partying on the town and coming back to maybe lay down for about 10 minutes, uh, got back up, pulled the suitcases down to the lobby, uh, coordinated with the rest of the 34 other uh, Peace Corps volunteers, and we got on the bus, we flew, well, we got on the bus and then we had to get us all checked in. It took us almost two hours to get us all checked in at the airport. And then we flew out at 7 a.m. to Miami. Uh, found our way through Miami, which is a pretty rough airport in my opinion. Um, a lot of unnecessary escalators and unnecessary little light rails. And um, then, yeah, flew right here pretty awesome that we fl when we flew out of Miami because the weather was absolutely perfect and uh, I'll have to ask some of my friends to tag me in their photos um, of what they were taking just out the windows of the planes. And then we bust from uh, the Managua airport when we flew into Nicaragua to this compound as you see here behind me. All this fun stuff. Um, all of us volunteers are living here uh, we're not allowed to leave just yet. Uh, not like not even allowed to leave outside the grounds. They're not quite. They don't really want us doing that. It's a little unsafe. Um, but they've been hooking us up. We're gonna 
have all kinds of craziness happen tomorrow with the language assessments and uh, they're gonna give us some more vaccinations. I'm gonna start looking like a pain cushion. Um, I think I have to get typhoid first, which is gonna be just awesome. Uh, but after that little uh, briefing on what's going to be happening, they just kind of turned us loose to entertain ourselves. So uh, we just have been having fun playing soccer and uh, killing time. Um, internet here is actually uh, working. Um, not really enough for me to do much other than just upload stuff. Uh, kind of cuts in and out really bad. So not much more than just uploads. I mean, I can do that without the internet and then go to the internet real quick, upload it, and then be out of there before it crashes on me. So, I think that's enough for this episode. Um, look for me again next week, you guys. Uh, this is Mike, and you're watching my Peace Corps adventure unfold before your eyes. See you guys later.